hello everyone today I'm going to review my um, Star Wars pose x-wing so this is from the force awakens toy line I think force awakens came out 2015 if I'm not mistaken and this toy pretty much came out at that time it's a pretty cool toy it's the x-wing of Poe the second one the one that's gray with with a um, orange so as you can see so I'm gonna review this bad boy in this video so the first thing I'll show you, or what this set comes with, what the ship comes with. First and foremost, let's show you the pilot. So for that, I'm going to pull him out right there. You just slide him in. And here he is. So this set comes, of course, with Poe Dameron. Here he is. Yeah, and let's just take a moment to appreciate how Poe looks. The detailing. So the detailing is pretty good. He's in his um, rebel orange flight suit. So let's... To give you the give you a look it's got that hose attachment those straps nice sculpting all the wrinkles are in there here as you can see the sculpting on the pad he has a gun and a gun holster a working holster at that and you can pop off his helmet and here he is he sort of looks like Oscar Isaac yeah looks close enough to him it's got that nice little rebellion symbol over there let's take a quick look at his helmet this is his helmet it's got an orange visor and, of course, a Rebellion symbol right over there as well. That's pretty good. Turn it all around. Pretty good sculpt. Pretty good helmet. Fits snugly to his head. When it comes to articulation, his head's in a ball and socket, so he can turn it all around and go up and down. You know, he can nod. It's on a ball and socket. He has no articulation on his body. His arms can do the whole turn all around, but that's it. Can't really twist his uh, wrist, no elbow articulation, it's just this. And his legs go all the way up front like that. It has a knee bend. Oh, my mistake, it has no knee bend. It just goes all the way up and all the way back like that. And that's the only points of articulation this figure has. It's enough for him to sit inside his X-Wing. So there he is, Poe Dameron. Oh, and by the way, I forgot, yeah, pistol comes out tiny little gray blaster pistol and you could fit it in his hand so you know if Poe has to get off his ship and has to engage in a gunfight you could do that so he has a pistol that's his only accessory moving on to the ship this is his x-wing so that's a front view side view comes with BB-8 he is not top view he comes with BB-8, but he is not removable. He's got the thrusters over there. Bottom view, he's got this. This is a gimmick, spring-loaded um, photon torpedo. He has a working landing gear, but only up front. These are the other things it rests on when he's landing. He has a gimmick, which I'll show you more of you. But anyway, here's a quick glimpse. Press that. That opens. Pull this back. Wings close. BB-8 is permanently connected to the ship. He is pretty much a button. For the gimmick cockpit opens hmm, nice one. only it only goes up this much and if we take a closer look at the cockpit i'm not sure if you can see this first it's got a nice gray seat very snug fit when you go in there it has no yoke or typical controls that you'd imagine the jet has but it has a screen with some you can see the button sculpted in there and it's got a targeting system so poe is about to murder a TIE fighter because you can see that on his targeting system. Nice rivets as you can see the sculpted rivets on the um, cockpit on this. You know that's pretty good. On his canopy. <laughs> I was a loss for words out there. So the ship has a lot of nice little details that you could spot over there. All these panels, all these little colorations, all these grooves and lines. Engine parts up here, engine parts in the back nice four thrusters and this half thruster over here yeah it's pretty cool it's got some nice detailing so at least it's not just a hunk of plastic it has details you know it's not a plain thing is what i'm saying now when this comes in the packaging you have to assemble the four prongs so you just attach them simply attach them at each wing so and you have to put this nose cone so he comes you know when i got him off the box he didn't have that but it's made of soft rubber as you can see and you just slide it there to complete the look so that is basically the x-wing all right so i'll be showing you some of the gimmicks 
of this X-Wing. So here's the X-Wing over here. So as mentioned, if you want the wings to come out, you just press down on BB-8's head, like so. It opens up, that's pretty good. And if you want the wings to retract or to close up, you just pull on this lever over here. So let's show you from the rear view what happens when I pull it, give you a good view and it closes. That's pretty awesome. Those are its, um, that's the wing gimmick. Now, next I'm going to show you is the, well, the uh, photon torpedo gimmick. If you check out the other side, it does have that photon torpedo and it has this uh, little button, spring loaded, so you press that, it fires. So uh, I'm going to show it to you in a bit. You're a monster! I am. This one's for Han Solo. Boom. Right, so my thoughts on this set are, well, this set came out, I think, back in 2016, I think, or 2015. But I only got him, like, years later when he was on 70% off. And I was also gifted gift certificates for that particular mall I got him in. So I almost got him completely free. Super low price when I got him. And, and I'm, I was really happy because he's the first ever X-Wing I would ever had. I was able to purchase in my life. Now, hmm... It's a nice sculpt, nice detailing. You can really see the detailing here. It's coming really, really, looking really good, especially with the light coming in. But he is a bit small, which is, you know, a lot of times the these Hasbro toy lines of Star Wars 3.75, the vehicles are not really scaled because, you know, they'd be really much bigger. Because right now this thing looks like, compared to the pilot, it looks like a bobsled that sprouted X-Wing wings. So it's not really that big. It's kind of tiny. That's cool. It's forgivable. I mean, if you remember the show, whether it's Luke and Empire climbing into it or when Poe's next to his, it's sort of kind of this high. It's higher. It's kind of like a small fighter jet. And they climb into it with a ladder. Now, this thing, he needs no ladder. He just, you know, pops into it like a, blo like a bobsled. But, you know, other than that, though, it's still a good um, spaceship. Good toy. The, the gimmicks, as you've seen, they work very well. I mean, it's really fun to do this little pop this button and it changes modes. Pull this back, automatically the wings fold on their own. That's very awesome and very functional feature. This is really cool. And uh, I got a few TIE Fighters too, so uh, it's nice to play with them with the TIE Fighters. Um, it's nice to pose, nice to display, but I have to admit, sometimes I just like to fly them around because it's, it's pretty light. And it's, uh, it's handy. So it's a good display piece and it's actually pretty fun to play with it. Can of imagine all your X-Wing fun with this. Imagine Poe just tearing up the sky with this. Um, so my final thoughts is it's a, good, it's a good toy. You could get it. I'm not sure how much it sells for now. I think you can still get it. But it's a, it's a good X-Wing. There are probably better ones. But this, one, this one's pretty good for me. Um, a lot of people have some negative opinions on the sequel series. For me, it had its moments, but it, it could be better. But, uh, I mean, the whole Ray being Palpatine's granddaughter wasn't really too cool for me. But, yeah, but uh, but, but the Poe character was nice. I kind of liked his character. It was like kind of like the new Han Solo, sort of. Uh, or not really like Han Solo, but he's the ace pilot guy, and he was pretty cool. And... uh I like I liked them in the in the in the movies, so it was one thing nice about the movie. So overall, this is a this is a good toy, and uh, it it adds to your collection. It's nice to pose him on a stand, uh, and it's nice to play with him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and learned a lot about this toy.